In this video, I'm going to be replacing the battery on this HP Pavilion laptop. This is a very easy job, but it can be intimidating if you don't know exactly how to do it. I'm also going to be replacing the CPU fan on this computer because the fan is very noisy. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to my channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so before we get started, just want to say we have a pretty easy job ahead of us here. It's just these three screws, one, two, three, and then there's one screw each underneath these rubber pads. So a total of five screws. So that's not going to be any problem. Now to get this back popped open, um, I like to use a little kit like this. It's um, kind of like an iPhone or phone opening kit, something like that. But it, it's not for a phone, obviously, but it comes with these little plastic tools right here that help to pry everything open without scratching it all up. So I'll post a link below to uh, some of those tools to let you see what I'm talking about. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started here taking off these screws. Alright, so just carefully kind of pry these up. And if you find that yours doesn't want to stick back after doing this, you can get some of that like two millimeter wide two-sided tape and stick a piece of that underneath here and then that will refresh that again so that that will stick better. All right, so there's a screw there. Don't bother to take the other uh, pads off of the other side because there's no screws there. Just pull that out and now I'm going to do the same thing to the other pad and I'll be right back. Alright, I'd like to start here on the hinge side. Um, starting on these sides is a little bit more difficult because you can't get the tool under there very well to get it started. So here on the hinge side, just kind of do that to get it in there and then you can get it started just like so. And then kind of slide it down kind of like you're doing the, the bead of a tire. There we go. There we go. Just like so. All right. Once you get the back propped open, you can kind of go down each side. There we go. Just have to be patient with it and then do the other side and then the front should lift right up. It does take a little bit of patience. Once you get these three sides popped up, you can just kind of lift it like a hood and then it'll come right out. No problem. All right, so here's our fan that's making all this noise, and obviously the battery is right here. So let's go ahead and uh, pull that fan out of there. I'm going to get that replaced real quick. Very easy, just remove these screws. Pop that sucker loose. Okay, and you're going to want to be careful here with the plug, so kind of take a flathead screwdriver and just work it back and forth slowly until it comes out of there. Just like so. And there we go. Put the new one in just the same way.
All right, I got the screws back in the fan. Just gonna change out the battery real quick. Pull it out the screws. So there's just a few screws. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna pull out those five screws and I'll be right back. Once you get the five screws pulled out, just lift up and slowly pull that puppy out of there. Very simple. And set that aside. And get your new battery. Put that back in there. Very carefully. And that's it. That's an easy job, right? Just gonna put those five screws back in there and I'll be back to put the cover back on. Uh, by the way, before I put the cover back on, I did wanna mention one thing. Uh, this laptop about a year ago had a hard drive crash and here's the hard drive right here. And of course, all the procedures I showed you about taking the uh, covers off are all the same, but yeah, I had to replace the hard drive. So I put in here a uh, 500 gigabyte SSD hard drive and that's been working like a champ ever since. But um, if your laptop hard drive crashes, it goes right there. All right, we're all buttoned up in here. Just gonna put this lid back on. It'd help if I'd put it back on the right way, wouldn't it? And it goes on a little easier. You just kinda get it in place and then you just cl clamp it down. Just like so. You might have to go around it a couple of times so that it stops uh, clicking and crunching. Now, like I said on these, if these don't want to stick back real well, you can use some of that two-sided tape that's real thin, not so wide, but I think these are going to be okay. The weight of the computer will kind of press them down. <laughs> 